Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Labor Day. And welcome to the weekly vlog. So yeah, it's not, it's Monday, not Sunday. It's Monday, it's Labor Day. And yes, I'm in my car. And I am going to meet my grandma. And she is taking me maternity dress shopping. Because I still have about seven weeks to go. And that is going to include the baby shower and back to school. So she wanted to do something nice for me. And try to help me get through these last seven weeks of an expanding belly. So I'm going, I'm driving, or I'm about to start driving to go meet her. Tuesday. It's the first day of school. It's my planning period, which is also the lunch block for these days at least. On that's what I have on. It's we have a block schedule, so it's A B. So A day, I have third block planning at a four, and B days I have first block planning. So it's my planning. It's the lunch. I have half an hour left. I've already gone through two classes, and then I have one more in 30 minutes. I see them. It's good. I am excited. I have some good kids. I'm also exhausted coming back. It's a lot the first day. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot of like trying to be entertaining and, and getting to know the kids and trying to get a feel for them. And they're trying to get a feel for you and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot. So it's good though. I'm just, I'm really tired. Part of it is first day back. Part of it is being pregnant. Part of it is I didn't sleep well because I, I can never sleep well the night before the first day of school. I get a little, a little anxiety, but I'm good. I'm sitting in the dark because I just needed a little bit of a break. A little bit of a chill me time. That's what I'm doing. Well, it's like 7 now. 7.15. I'm so exhausted. Oh my gosh. I forgot how exhausting first day back at school really is and teaching. And so it was a good day. I had a good day. My last block was good. Everything was good. Honestly, it just felt like another day. Like it didn't really feel like the first day of school, even though it was the first day of school. Like, and I don't know any of these students yet, but I don't know. It was a good day, it was fine, but I'm completely drained. My feet hurt. So I'm just hanging out. I was reading to all the boys I loved before because the Netflix show was really good and I've never read it. And so I'm reading that. And then I'm also watching Shameless. So I'm not doing it the same, same time, but I'm catching up on last season because I never did. So I'm doing that on Netflix now. And we're probably gonna watch The Bachelor in Paradise later and catch up from last night's episode. We're gonna watch it when it airs cause like, there's too many commercials. So I'm just chilling out, I'm hanging out, recuperating. It was a long day and I'm tired, but like I said, it was a good day and tomorrow is first day number two. So it's second day, but it's all new students. So it's kind of doing the same thing that we did today again except i do have one different class that's what's happening over here enjoy your evening about nine and I have planning this block so I'm just kind of getting things organized I'm excited day two it's now five to eight at night and I am so exhausted B days are rough because it's a marathon and I have very loud classes or at least I did today so it's been rough getting getting back into the groove of things a it's first week teacher tired B it's third trimester pregnancy tired. I'm just exhausted. I'm gonna take my makeup off now though. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Friday. I didn't vlog yesterday, cause, hey. Well, that was a little awkward. 
Anyway, I didn't vlog yesterday. I just was tired and I didn't really have anything interesting because I just worked all day. And it's kind of hard to vlog. I don't want to vlog my students. Oh, and last night, James and I just watched Bachelor in Paradise and caught up on that. So, effing Colton, man. Effing Colton. But, it's Friday. I'm so excited. I have my coffee with my pumpkin spice creamer. And I have first block off, so I'm just chilling. The day hasn't started yet. It's barely 8, but I'm excited that it's Friday. I'm ready to sleep in, so... Yeah, should be a good day. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I have been a terrible, terrible vlogger this week and I'm sorry. I might combine this and next week into two, I have to kind of look and see what footage I have, but it's also not going up at the time and probably even the day that it normally does. It's just, it's been a really busy, exhausting week. So filming has just been something that I, it hasn't really been my priority. What with going back to school and just trying to get back into the groove of things. My sinuses have been kind of acting up a little bit as well. So, sorry. Friday night after work, I went with some friends just and hung out, some teacher friends. And then yesterday, Saturday, James and I went to newborn care, a newborn care class, so baby class. And then kind of came back and just hung out, got groceries, and, and that was pretty much it for the day. I caught up on Shameless just in time for it to come on tonight, even though I don't have show time, so I can't watch it anyway. And then today, it's 11.30, I'm about to make my lunch for the week, so I thought I'd film that for you. Then we have infant CPR class and a hospital tour before we hang out with friends for Sunday dinner. So it's a busy day and I'm a little stressed because I haven't really finalized my lesson plans for tomorrow yet. Like I know what I'm doing, but there are still things I need to do to prepare, so uh, and we have to leave in like an hour. So I'm not quite sure how all of this is gonna get done, hence the not as much filming, and I haven't had time to edit. I've just, my brain is, it's, it's dead. I have, I'm brain dead. Anyway, I am going to make, it's a, like a white bean salad. It's like basically vegan chicken salad or vegan tuna salad. The other common one is made with chickpeas, but I found one for white beans, so I thought I'd try that. I am not using vegan mayonnaise, though, so it's more vegetarian than it is vegan. I just, vegan mayonnaise is expensive, and I don't use it often enough to make it worthwhile to buy, and I already had some regular mayonnaise, so I'm just gonna use that. So these are my ingredients. It's just basically one can of cannellini beans or white beans, which I've already drained and rinsed. Uh, yellow mustard, some mayonnaise, vegan mayonnaise if you want to go vegan, one stalk of celery, some nutritional yeast, salt, and pepper. It all comes together and then you put it on, it's like a sandwich. very different from the chickpea one and I, I don't know I really like it I think I'm gonna make a sandwich of it now I'm a fan I like it I got this recipe from the friendly fig and I will link the recipe below all right let's try it as a sandwich I don't think I put enough on the sandwich. I also toasted the bread and it's Ezekiel bread, so it's a little bit denser of a bread. It'd probably be better with like, I don't know, a lighter bread or something different, but I still like it, it's good. Saturday the 15th. It's been a week since I vlogged. It's basically just been a really tough two weeks. As you can see from the last week's footage, it just wasn't very much. And then this week I didn't vlog at all. I just, it, it was it was a long week. I was exhausted. It just didn't happen. So I'm combining these two weeks obviously into one. So I thought I would just update you really quickly. I'll probably give you a, a proper update in a little bit. But right now I'm at Target, I'm running some errands, I've got to do some shopping. So that's what I'm doing now, but I thought that I would at least say hi because in my time it's been a week, in your time it's been 
two seconds, but yeah, so I'm here. I'm at Target, then I have to go to Marshall's and see what I can find, and hopefully they'll have what I need. So wish me luck. All right, I'm home, and the battery of this is charged because it was not so charged when I opened it up earlier. It's like 10 after seven at night, and I went shopping, like I said. I had a lot of luck at Target. I was able to get a lot of what I was looking for there, but at Marshall's, I didn't buy a single thing. I couldn't find anything that I was looking for. I just, it was not my lucky day there. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday, so we're going out to lunch for, for that, and then, Next week is my baby shower. We're getting really close to the end, like really close. I had my doctor's appointment this past week. Everything was fine. It took five minutes, in and out, end of the day. It was great. But yeah, basically I just haven't vlogged this week because, and I barely vlogged last week. It's just been a really busy, exhausting two weeks. Going back to school, I always, I think, underestimate how exhausted I'm going to be. Especially the fact that like it doesn't help that I'm pregnant obviously because I'm tired all the time anyway Like just the first two days. I was so wiped From teaching all day and being on my feet which I'm not used to doing and I'm not really supposed to do that much I had to scale back a lot with the energy level at school just because I I physically couldn't do it like I thought I could so I've been having to sit a lot more which is fine I don't love it because I just feel like I'm a better, more effective as a teacher when you walk around, but I just physically can't do it. Pause. Anyway, that was my sister calling. Basically, I'm sorry that I didn't film the last week and a half, really. Hoping that I'll get better at that. I just, it's tough when I'm working because from the time I get up in the morning, which is anywhere from 5.30 to 6.30, all the way until about four, and I work all day. I don't really have like a break. Even planning, like I'm not just like sitting around doing nothing, it's tough. And so I need to try to film more of that and I need to film more when I get home. But when I, by the time I get home, I'm just so worn out and exhausted from teaching because I'm an introvert. But when you're a teacher, you have to be an extrovert, so it's really tough. Sometimes when I come home, I just have to sit and decompress a little bit and like spend time with James and the cats and the dog, but I am gonna try to be better at that, to at least check in and say hey most days. Also, let me just let you know, we got out of school Friday, yesterday, because of the hurricane. They canceled school on like Tuesday because of it. So we spent all the beginning of the week. Everybody in town was like rushing around trying to buy up all the water and the bread and everything. And so, you know, we all stockpiled and <laughs> for this hurricane and then they canceled school for Friday and we're like, oh man, it's gonna be really bad and then nothing we got a little bit of rain and that's about it like i'm not saying that hurricane didn't hit other places because it definitely hit north carolina really hard and wilmington which is where i went to school and i like love it is completely flooded but here in virginia outside of richmond we got just some rain and not even a lot of rain very little rain. I enjoyed my day off yesterday. I am grateful that it didn't do any worse damage than it did and that it did calm down a lot because that was a little scary for a little bit. I should have filmed more of that. I really should have filmed it, but I, again, exhausted. Good morning. It's Sunday the 16th. It's my mom's birthday, so happy birthday, mom. And I am getting ready. Well, I'm ready to go now. I have to leave to go meet her and my grandparents and my sister for lunch in about 20 minutes I need to leave or so. I'm just left to go to lunch with his mom for her birthday with his sister and so we've split up today just because that's just the way that it worked out. I'm doing it today as I'm celebrating my mommy's birthday. $29,000. Oh my god. It's a ride for a baby, Rebecca. Yeah, with a skeleton. Okay. Like a nightmare. Just sit in it. It's a $22,000 chair. Sit in the chair. Okay. Oh, I don't want to. Just sat in a $22,000 chair. I feel like I could wear that to the shower. <laughs> oh. That's it. More creepy. Apothecary? That's kind of cool. I had one of these. 
I think Molly hit went in there. No, I didn't go in there. I was taking a picture. I thought I come out. Oh. Like, what even? I was like, I have something like that right now. <laughs> like in my closet. <laughs> of course you do. Well, I am home now. I went, we had a really nice lunch with my grandparents and my mom and my sister. That was at my grandparents. And then my mom, my sister, and I went to this like antique mall and so we're looking for nursery decor basically because i still don't really know what i'm putting on the walls and basically more like nursery haunted nursery <laughs> more than anything else like it was really a lot of creepy things and weird things and old things that didn't really fit so i didn't get anything but it was nice just to hang out with them and we had a good time we laughed so now I'm home and I'm really not feeling that great. I'm just miserable for the most part as far as like the way that I feel these days. Sunday night and I'm, I'm right now, I'm just kind of trying to get some things together for tomorrow, for school. I need to edit this vlog Sunday night. So time to get cracking on the end of the weekend stuff. So anyway, I am going to end the vlog. I'm going to edit this and hopefully post it tomorrow probably in the evening because I probably won't finish the edit tonight but hoping to get a lot of that done so anyway I am sorry for like the weirdness of this vlog and I'm hoping that next week I will get back on track so anyway thanks for watching and let me know how your past two weeks were yeah that's it for me this week I will see you next time mm -hmm.